to talk about your car, well, your Mazda 66 or MX-6 or Ford Probe or I guess it could be any reference, uh, well, about your car being out of time. Now, uh, Mazda 66 particularly, my car, uh, you'll notice your check engine light will come on, not when you first start your car, but after you drive for a little while. That's why uh, mine is on right now. I've been driving for maybe about 10 minutes. Um, I'm not sure what the code is or anything, but I know it has to do with my timing. And then um, another thing is a drop in your power band. If you're losing a lot of power, or the car seems like it's struggling to go. That's another sign of your timing belt being out. And also, if you have a high or low idle, that can be it too. But uh, as of right now, my car is pretty far out of time. I adjusted it the best that I could with how bad it is, but uh, it's still pretty bad. I mean, my acceleration's killed. The car doesn't feel like it has as much power as it used to, and um, of course, I can't really adjust my idle any more than I have it right now, except that my, uh, that I have a vacuum leak. But, uh, I mean, the typical things you want to look for is, uh, is really the power band thing. That, that's the dead giveaway. Now, um, you may have heard somewhere that people say, oh, well, if your timing's too far out, you, it's a definite notice, or, like, your engine will blow or something. Well, there's a difference between interference and non-interference motors, especially the Mazda makes one of the best non-interference motors, in my opinion. One of my first timing belt jobs on a 626 was on this old lady 66 that her timing belt snapped, and she said, well, the car just stopped running. And it would crank, but it wouldn't turn over. Slapped a new timing belt on there, a new tensioner, it ran perfect. Uh, I mean, usually if you tell somebody, well, it snapped and ran a little bit, then they're going to say, oh, the engine's screwed. Well, it's not. It has something to do with the way everything is set up and timed, I guess. I'm not exactly sure. Um, but I just know these, are, these engines won't go if, you know, your timing belt snaps. But um, one of the main things you want to look for with the power band thing is, like, before I adjusted my timing to the best I could right now, what I'm doing right now, fifth gear doing about 45, my car would be like bouncing. It would be struggling like a bo oh, 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 oh. And that's a definite, usually a definite sign of your timing being out. Now, uh, of course, the only option to get around this is either adjust your ignition timing, and um, if you do that and it's not enough, then you gotta do timing belt. And on the V6s, it is a pain. It's something that you want to do a lot of research on how to do it before you take it on. And it's also expensive. I paid $199, and that's with, um, I get a discount, because uh, I order it through the shop I work at. But that was, that's with a discount, $199. So you have to buy a component kit and a timing belt, or just a timing belt kit. It might come with everything, but you usually can't get away with just replacing the timing belt. Now, if I was stopped and I could show you right now, or you could hear it, there's a bit of a growling noise coming from underneath my timing cover. That's my idlers being bad. It's basically like a bearing, you know, and once it gets shot, it starts making a weird noise. Now, um, I have, you know, everything, of course, I already bought it, but you're looking to spend anywhere from $200 to almost $300 if you have to do your timing belt. And when you're spending that much, you might as well figure out how to do it yourself because you've already dumped that much into it. I, I mean, I personally wouldn't really want to go to a shop after I've spent that much money. But anyway, as a recap, looking for bad timing is your check engine light coming on while you're driving, not when you start it, your power band having issues, and possibly higher low idle. But uh, anyway, that's all. So uh, yeah.